everyone, welcome back to the Jaws of Hakon DLC for Dragon Age Inquisition. We're hot on a Meriden's trail, and we're about to break down the ice barrier that's protecting the Hakonite's base. First, we have to get through this green barrier, and it took me a few minutes to realize that I was overthinking it. I ran all over, pulling various levers and screwing with the floor puzzle again until I finally realized that all you have to do is take the bale of fire to the barrier and... Inside the shrine after the, the cutscene, we'll use the veil fire to prime the energy relayer, and once that's all set, we'll fire the energy across the zone to the next Tevinter relay. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. That's something you don't see every day. A pair of shrines. This one is clearly Andrastian, albeit from a very early period, likely pre-divine. But this is Elven, one of their gods. Uh, what was it? Every mother finds Druffalo among sleeping juniper groves. Gee something, the one with the deer. That would be Gilanar, mother of the Hollow. Yes, brilliant, thank you. Oh, that would have bothered me all day. Two shrines for two lovers. Inquisitor Ameridan and Talana. Maybe Talana was an elf. Oh, yes. That's good. The Chantry expunged references to elves before the exalted march on the Dales. They erased the canticle of Shartan. They must have done the same to Talana. Do you think this is where Ameridan died? No, this was a site of preparation, not burial. Meriden and Talana put up this shrine together. Look at those flowers. They're not native to the area. What if they were left at the shrine as an offering? Yes. A night of prayer before battle against the dragon. But then where? Where? We're missing something. What are we missing? Oh, where did you go? So look at this. Shartan 10-7 and Transfigurations 10-1. The gates of Minrathus. Isn't there a Tevinter fortress in the area? Yes. Oh, of course! The ritual site! To seal the dragon away, a Meriden's elven mage must have used a spell at a site of great power. My scouts have checked the fortress. It's sealed behind a wall of ice. It has to be there. We'll look around. A Meriden found a way through that ice. That way should be nearby.
To lock the door behind them? And every lock has a key. Like these trail markers. Ameridan must have known how to use them. If they can melt through the ice, that must be for Ameridan to see what can crack. I'll follow the markers and see what we can find. What we're doing is transporting the energy across the zone in short segments, each time getting closer to the Hakonite base until we can finally fire the energy directly at the ice wall that's protecting it. This removes the wall of ice around the Tevinter fortress. At least the trail markers appear to be functional. But there's still a wall. Light doesn't make walls go away. Everyone remember not to look down. I may have already looked. Just try not to think about it. Or fall. Falling would be worse. Nobody wants to be the one to tell the world the Inquisitor fell off a log into his face. It appears we shall be reduced to wading. Lovely.
take a little detour here to meet Colette and complete her quest. The ancient Imperium did like to leave a mark. I wonder how long they stayed. I believe this is Colette's destination. Inquisitor, I was going to send word. I found something. This inscription almost completely faded, but two stood. Felt sixty true before our triumph. A breath in the hunt, and let rest the lowlanders, worthy of the lady's care. The markings and surrounding artifacts date to a Meriden's time. The references and scripts suggest Avar. What's your theory? I need to complete a full survey and have Professor Kenrick evaluate the site himself. But this may be a tribute to Heron and Orina, Inquisitor and Meriden's companions. What can you tell me about Orina? Orina was an alchemist in Orzammar. It's said she met a Meriden while dealing with a demon. But it's not known why a Meriden was there. Demons aren't common in the Deep Roads. But they were a problem for the Inquisition at the time. Arena knew she could help, so she joined Amerida. If she left Orzammar, that would make her a surfacer. She turned her back on the stone, though it's said she had few regrets. Some claim she was actually from one of Orzammar's noble families, but who can say? She never used her last name on the surface, and once exiled, the family likely struck her name from personal documents. Professor Kenrick petitioned Orzammar's Shaperet to grant access to their records, but the request was turned down. What makes you think the inscription refers to Heron and Orina? It's only a theory, but the age of the markings and surrounding artifacts match the timeline we've established for Ameridan. We know that Ameridan and his companions came into violent contact with the Avar. I found glass fragments in the clay, several with slight veins of discoloration. Blue. Like Templar artifacts. Templars? The Templars were a new order in Ameridan's time. Given their small numbers then, few would be found outside the Chantry's reach. It's unusual to find one deep in uncharted territory, unless he traveled here for a purpose, as Heron would have. What do you know about Heron? When the Templar Order was first formed, Sir Heron was among its members. He's arguably the most famous of the original Templars, though he was never one of their leaders. He's better known as one of Inquisitor Ameridan's confidants. They've known each other since youth. So they were close. Friends. When Ameridan was made Inquisitor, Heron's position in his inner circle was assumed. A few ballads about them survive. A type with adventures and happy endings. <laughs> I don't know if they're true. They remind me of my brothers, though. What happened here? Ameridan and his companions fought the original Jaws of Hakon. They were outnumbered, but Ameridan had a sworn duty. 
Could Ameridan and Talana be skilled enough to slip past the jaws of Hakon? What if someone had to buy them time? If this is the resting place of Heron and Arilla, it only remains because the Avar took time to honor them. Respect for a worthy adversary? It wouldn't be out of place. What will you do with this information? Professor Kenrick will expect detailed notes on the location, stone and clay samples, and any trace artifacts I can find. If Ameridan's history is compiled, this could be worth an entire chapter. I might get credit on the inside cover. Thank you, Colette. Inquisitor.
All right, now the ice is gone, at this point we can return to the Avar and begin the assault on the Hackenite's base. Inquisitor. The Hakonites were pushed back from the river. That will put mines at ease, sir. I'll arrange patrols for the area. It's no Imperial Highway, but we'll see people along as safely as we can. That will be all, Lieutenant. Sir. When you are ready, you have our blades, Inquisitor. I'm ready to attack the jaws of Hakon. Good. They will pay the blood price for what they have done. Your Skald and your Scout are here. We can plan the assault. Oh, I like the sound of Scald. It's more dramatic than Professor. <coughs> <coughs> yes, well, uh, everything we've found out about Inquisitor Emeridan suggests that he never emerged from that Tevinter fortress. If that is where your Inquisitor defeated Hakon, that is where the jaws of Hakon must perform the right to free him. Inquisitor Emeridan saved the Lowlands from an Avar invasion. We cannot do any less. You really have no problem with us killing your god? Gods cannot be reborn until they die. Hakon needs a good rebirthing. If you say so. With its ice wall melted, the fortress is open to attack. We must strike soon, before our foes recover. They're already trying. I've got most of our forces defending the shrine from Hakonites who want to restore the wall. If anyone has suggestions, now is the time. What gives you fear, Inquisitor? Is this not the battle you wanted? I'm no warrior, but with Lady Harding's forces defending the shrine and no way to breach the walls... <laughs> Lowlanders, why not climb the walls? Your warriors can get over those walls before the Hakonites stop them? This is not a war, Stone Daughter. This is a raid. We strike at night. Clad lightly, we climb the wall and open the gate from inside. Well then, unless anyone has something that sounds easier than climbing the walls... I would not offer what I could not give. It will be done. Perhaps my climbers will earn themselves a legend mark. Inquisition forces will feign weakness near the shrine. That'll draw some of them away from the fortress. Not too many, I hope. Yes, save some for us. Right, Inquisitor. Ask and I will climb over. I'll be there to catch Parv when he slips. Of course you will. You'll be behind me after all. Where the guard? I've got him. There! The Wallanders! Kill the Inquisitor! Death to his heart! Forward, stay alive long enough for the Avar to scale the wall and open the gate. This is easiest to do by staying very close to the wall so that the archers up top can't fire down at you.
she doesn't want to be him. He doesn't want to be chained, tied together, racked and raging. Watch out for the ice wards. We cannot let them slow us. These ghost-looking things are best killed at a distance. They don't attack you, but they will freeze you if you stay too close to them, and they will cause a freezing explosion when they die.
Once inside the temple, you have to keep this an eye on that warmth nature. gauge there. If we do not this area this, is freezing, and death. if you don't find a fire source for warmth, the cold will kill you. You'll find fires throughout the map that can be lit to refill your warmth before you move on. Yes. You'll want to learn where they are, the because as you explore, away. you're going to need to come back to them regularly in order to refill your warmth gauge so that you can explore more and get farther into the area. This is going to apply in battles as well. While you're fighting, the gauge is still going to deplete, so you'll have to keep an eye on it and return to the fire as needed, even if it's in the middle of fights. They are performing the ritual. I suggest we hurry. There's a key right there that I missed. It opens the door to the next area, and it's going to take me several minutes of running back and forth looking for it to realize that. All of the top tier Hakon weapon schematics are in this zone, and they're all acquired through a room, so be on the lookout and keep Balefire hand. of mom. 
Cold. In this area there are a lot of battles and there's a trick that I didn't remember at first to, to keep your team warm during battle. If you use the Tacticam for the fights, you can have a companion hold position at the fire or close to the fire. Then when it gets too cold and you need to return, all you have to do is switch over to that companion, turn off the Tacticam and run over to the fire. Only the player controlled character needs to be by the fire. It doesn't matter which character it is. Your whole team doesn't have to be there. It doesn't even matter if the rest of your team is still fighting somewhere else. Once the warmth gauge is filled up, turn the Tacticam back on and get back into the battle. The dragon. She's stuck. Still a statue. Hakon is angry inside her. Sing the song of savage Hakon, born in battle. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sing the song of savage Hakon, born in battle blue. Winter's breath to cold, cold to cut and kill the hated. Beat the might of Mountain Father, crush the creed of Korth the Callow. Leave the lady lost and lonely. Scour the skies of spirits sallow. Meet the might of Mountain Father. Crush the creed of Korth the Callow. Leave the lady lost and lonely. Scour the skies of spirits sallow. Gerd Harrofsson. Called the Cutter, Wyvern Slayer, Lowland Bay. Begs of Hakon, bring his body, bloody blessings, cold and pain! Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we fight the Hakonite leader. Throughout this fight, the boss is going to summon adds, and at set points, it's going to freeze fires around the battlefield, which will effectively kill them all. I vaguely recall that you can relight them using skills like Immolate or some other AoE targetable uh, fire skill, but I didn't bring a character that has that, so I couldn't confirm if I was remembering that correctly or not. So what I did instead was just to stay close to or keep returning to the fires that were still lit throughout the fight.
I've had this fight bug out more than once where after I beat the boss nothing happens and since nothing happens the exit never opens up and I'm just basically stuck in this um, area here with no way out. So be ready with that backup save just in case that happens to you. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Has Draken's Empire brought in even the Children of the Stone? Inquisitor Ameridan, you disappeared in 120 Divine, around the time of the signing of the Navarran Accord. You say it as though it was... How long? There has not been an Inquisitor since you disappeared. 800 years ago. Draken was my oldest friend. He would have sent someone to find me. He would have, had the Second Blight not swept across Orlais, demanding his full attention. I see. Tilana escaped the battle. Did she... Do the records say what became of her? She returned to the island. From what we can tell, she died trying to reach you through dreams. I asked her not to. She was a good hunter and the love of my life, but she never... I never wanted this job. Hunting demons was so much simpler than politics. But Draken told me I was needed. As I suspect you were needed. I wasn't Inquisitor by choice. Whatever my life was before. Take moments of happiness where you find them. The world will take the rest. The dragon carries the spirit of an Avar god. I lack the strength to kill it. My own magic was able to bind us all, locked in time. But when the cultists drew that spirit into another vessel, it disrupted my bindings. It is breaking free. I'd be honored to finish what you started. Thank you. The passage of years can be delayed, but not ignored. 
I will soon join Talana at Andraste's side. Take this. It holds the last few memories of an old hunter who was neither as wise nor as strong as he thought. Fight well, Inquisitor. I am honored to have met you. Hakon inside her. We have to stop her before she hurts people. When we leave the zone, we're going to find ourselves in the same area where we met Colette just before we started this fight, and you're going to see a wisp floating around. Those are Emeridan's memories, and each one that you collect is going to give you a permanent stat boost. It's a very easy retrieval quest. Just track it on the map or th through the journal, and you'll see the general area where they are, and once you see them floating around, all you have to do is walk up and collect them. Pity history forgot them. It doesn't matter that no one remembers. What matters is that they helped. Trap. 
All is in place. I offer thanks to Gilanan, Hala Mother, and to Andraste, Maker Bride. As you were raised up from mortal men to stand with our creators, our makers, so raise me up now to defend this world. He prayed to both Andraste and his elven gods. What a quaint idea. They're not so different, Draken. Just another pair of boots to walk the same road. He doesn't see. Wants it simple. But I can help him get there. There's room for both. Chemical trick she wants to try, like pitch or tar, but strong. A recipe straight from Forzaman. They argue, fuss, and mock each other mercilessly. And I would be lost without them. Yes. What's that like? Every age has those destined for greatness, it seems. They were happy, then dead. But this is still here. Now that newly frozen area right there is where the dragon is waiting, so once we collect all of the, the memories, we'll be back here to take care of it.
should not have asked you to come with me. Though I know you would not have stayed behind. You were a dreamer. And this dragon the Ava have taken carries a demon inside it. I can see how its presence hurts you. You should be at Hallam Shadra reminding our people of our alliance with Draken. And here, risking death with me. Still, in the old tongue, your name Talonadas means nothing is inevitable. I will remember your name. And hope. No. A dreamer like Talana would be sensitive to demons. This spirit of Hakon would have caused her a great deal of pain. Too bright, blinding, breaking, broken. Get to safety. I will seal us both away. It's not forever. Come back with aid. But her leg was broken. She could only lie down and try to see him one last time. during the second blight.
This is the last battle to complete for the Jaws of Hakon DLC. All the tactics that we saw with the other high dragons come into play here. He flies, he takes unreachable high ground, so we have to fight him at range. He summons adds, he jumps around to other areas of the map. Remember something about being able to hide in these little rooms to avoid the dragon's projectiles? I'm not sure if that's actually a good strategy or not, but if you want to do it, um, all you have to do is use the tactic cam to have your uh, companions hold position within the room so you can get everybody crammed in.
clustering around, pressing against the veil. And the god dragon has fallen. I've never gotten to see you take down a dragon in person. I must say, it's fun to see it up close. Perhaps this calls for a new title. Dragon Slayer Harding, perhaps. Well, a fancy title goes against the point of being a scout. Nobody should see me coming. Inquisitor Meriden would have been proud that you finished what he started. It's strange. History forgot so much of who he was. They never knew he died saving everyone. Do you ever feel that way? Right now, half of Thedas would recognize me on sight. Right, but they see the Inquisitor, this larger-than-life figure. Every time you're more than just a person to someone, you're also less than a person to them. They don't see that a real, normal man fought the Avar and killed that dragon. And they certainly don't know about your strange fixation with Elfroot. My feelings for Elfroot are classified, Scout Harding. <laughs> I'll carry your secret to my pyre. For what it's worth. Nice work, Kadash. Anyway, I'll be at camp if there's anything here you want to finish up. Otherwise, see you at Skyhold. Now, I left an item on the corpse to test whether or not it could be re-looted like the rifts, and it couldn't. When I came back, um, the skull was gone, the item I'd left behind was gone, so make sure you loot everything because you can't come back and get it later. And that's going to do it for the Jaws of Hakon. Tune in next time when we delve into the deep roads and fight some darkspawn as we get into the Descent DLC. See you then.